Hi, I'm Mike Stanton. It's December 4th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm here with Dan Bingham from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Dan, uh, happy Thanksgiving. Welcome back from the holiday. Uh, another week of pretty stable municipal bond yields, even though there was more action elsewhere in the market. So what did you see? Yeah, Mike, so it's, uh, you know, first week back from last week's sort of slowdown with the holiday and everything, and happy Thanksgiving to you as well. Um, we had uh, the big big news this morning, unemployment came out, um, which has been lost a little bit in the um, sauce in here with, um, you know, the each individual number isn't quite as important uh, from a market point of view, given the uh, noise around the, the virus and everything. Um, but uh, non-farm pay payrolls came in this morning at 245,000 below expectations, and the unemployment rate dropped from 6.9 to 6.7%. And with that, we saw a backup in treasury rates, continuation of the backup that we've seen in treasury rates, with the 10-year approaching at 97 basis points. Um, and that's, you know, obviously the, the psychologically important 1% level um, is getting pretty close. And I think you'll get a lot of press about the backup of rates if we do touch that 1%. Um, what, what kind of implications that has, who knows, but uh, I think it's, it's going to be important to watch. 30-year um, Treasury is backed up to a 174 uh, yield, so continued pressure across the Treasury curve. Um, and then in the municipal market, um, we've seen, you know, continuation of the same trends. We saw a, a little bit of a slowdown of inflows of 200, 200 million. Um, you know, important to note the holiday week, you're not going to see a whole lot of activity there. Um, but with the uh, calendar picking up this week, um, we've still seen some pretty good municipal market performance. Um, uh, muni market 10-year and 30-year levels at 72 basis points and at 142 was largely unchanged, even given the rate backup. Um, so resulting in pretty good uh, or very good market uh, muni, muni market performance in here. Um, and the one thing we look at, and I'll caution that um, given the low rate environment, the ratio isn't as important or, or as much of a focus, but the 10-year and 30 uh, 30 year ratios are now at 74 and 81.6%, um, which is testing the, the uh, extremes of where that ratio has been historically. Uh, earlier this week, MMA, uh, the team there reported that uh, the third quarter was the uh, largest quarter for bank investments into municipals in over six years. So apparently, a uh, robust demand on that side of the market. You know, it's, it's not a, a demand source you can see in real time, but obviously uh, we knew that there were forces uh, outside the market, international investors buying taxable munis and other things like that, that were driving uh, demand, uh, even as yep. uh, supply was strong. And you know, the one thing with the, um, the bank purchasing, I think prior to the election, there was a pretty strong uh, perspective of um, uh, the corporate income tax going back up to 25, 28%. Um, that looks less likely now. So um, it's interesting to see if bank uh, purchases has tailed off a little bit in here. Yeah, that's obviously a trailing indicator that the data was from Q3. So uh, we'll, we'll watch on to that. And uh, just rolling out the new issue market uh, into the end of the year, I believe we uh, we reached a new annual record this week. I think uh, the market did surpass, I think it was $476 billion in new issues. Um, and interesting uh, divergences uh, among analysts for next year. Um, I think Tom Koslick at Hilltop uh, Securities now has a forecast for $375 billion of new money issuance next year, which is on the low end of the scale. MMA came in at uh, 500 billion, which might be another new record. Um, and there, there are even higher numbers out there. So uh, uh, interesting, it's difficult for analysts to figure out what's gonna happen just because there is still a lot of uncertainty baked into the economy, I think. Yeah, and no doubt, and I've seen estimates as high as 550 million from some of the larger dealers, 550 billion from some of the larger dealers. And, um, you know, it, it, Still, still see the same uh, makeup of a 30% or so taxable component in there. So if you take out the taxables, um, maybe municipal issuance is up, but not not quite as high. Tax exempt yeah. issuance. So another busy week uh, for BAM's new issue desk. This past week, uh, I think 29 new issue transactions worth $218 million, uh, led by uh, the Houston County Board of Education in Alabama. Um, looking ahead to next week, uh, I think about $250 million already on the calendar. Um, a large transaction from the town of Stratford, Connecticut, that uh, Raymond James is going to price, uh, just under $100 million. Uh, $42 million from the Fort Wayne, Indiana Redevelopment Authority. 
Um, that's an interesting transaction. They're uh, financing uh, the redevelopment of a GE uh, campus into a mixed-use development. And uh, Juliet Steele from BAM's uh, East Region Public Finance Department produced a Credit Insights video looking at how they've, uh, they've guaranteed those bonds with food and beverage tax revenues. Uh, so you're not relying on the project itself. It's, it's truly an investment from the, uh, the full community in this uh, new project. Uh, anything else jump out to you uh, that you're looking for in the coming week? Yeah, you know, as, as we roll into December, obviously the uh, technicals and the seasonals are pretty favorable to the municipal market. Um, and we probably have next week is the last uh, full week of, of activity. So uh, it'll be interesting to see how, that's how the rest of the year unfolds. Great. Uh, so we'll uh, talk to you next week, Dan. Uh, thanks for your time. All right, great. Thanks, Mike. market is unpredictable, BAM gives you certainty. In the face of market volatility and illiquidity, BAM insured municipal bonds deliver default protection, value preservation, and a durable AA rating from S&P. BAM's insurance protects against everything that causes a default, including natural disasters, financial fraud, pension issues, and economic disruption. So while America rebuilds, BAM has you covered. BAM. Build America Mutual. Talk to your investment advisor or visit buildamerica.com.